Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be with you, isn't it? I hope you are doing absolutely amazing. Today we're going to be talking about Heal Within. And what is healing? What does it mean to heal within? And, you know, believe it or not, because next week is the American, uh, the Great American Smoke Hour. We're going to be talking about stomp on smoking. So let's get started. I wonder, what does heal within mean to you? You see? The reason I created this, uh, the name, it came to me and I named my business Heal Within because that's exactly what I did. I healed within. Um, over 22 years ago, uh, I was uh, diagnosed with the ovarian cysts and everything. And at that time, working at the law firm, I was sent to an acupuncturist where he recommended hypnosis. It was through hypnotherapy, about five, six sessions that I healed, what I called then, healed myself that I no longer needed to have my surgery, the third ovarian surgery done. Thus, this journey of Heal Within. So, when I talk about Heal Within, it doesn't mean cure. There is no cure that I call because, you know, we're all human. We go through things all the time. We transition to stress, disease, um, sickness, illness, everything, trauma, and hurt, pain, all of that. So there are times that when we are not feeling well, we feel so powerless. Um, and it can be from a traumatic experience. It can be from an illness. It can be from disease. As a matter of fact, just uh, yesterday, going for a walk with uh, our pack, our dog walking neighbors and everything, we were talking about one of the gentlemen. His brother was diagnosed with uh, a a very strong illness and everything that may be cancerous uh, they haven't diagnosed the cancer as of yet but you know what the doctor said they said the number one cause for all that has been stress going through a lot of difficulties and stress so believe it or not stress is the number one killer yep it can harm us. It can create all kinds of havoc. It can create this uh, this 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 ease within us. And when you're not feeling good, when you're not feeling healthy, guess what happens? It affects your relationship. It affects your home. It affects your work. It affects everything. Hi, Renee John. How are you? Um, so one of the things we want to talk about is what creates more stress in your life even when you think it is a relaxant so for many it's their habits behaviors and everything that when it turns a negative and believe it or not smoking is one of them so why is it that America has this great American smoke out and they have this cancer awareness, ovarian uh, awareness, they have lung cancer awareness? Because those are things that even when we think uh, smoking, overeating, uh, over drinking, anything when you do over and you go beyond what is social or just uh, casual and becomes addictive can be the cause for your dis-ease and distress. So when we talk about smoking, literally my book is like a workbook and uh, the depth of the lessons in here is absolutely amazing. Next week, for the Great American Smoke Out, I'm going to do a full-on hypnosis online. So if you 
or anyone you know who is interested in um, becoming a non-smoker or if they are vaping they want to stop vaping if anything all you have to do is text smoke to 818-221-2797 and we'll get your email and we will do a private uh, I'll send you a private email because for those who sign up I'm going to do a, a, a a hypnosis right there online free of charge okay so stomp on smoking one of the questions that I ask in here is um, can you stomp on smoking when I talk about st stomp on smoking it literally means to put your foot on there and say no more so many have stopped smoking because they went cold turkey others cannot do this cold turkey so they need help patches there uh, all kinds of online stuff is there guided visualization is there hypnosis audio recordings are there which I also have and if you go to healwithin.com and shop you will see variety of audio recordings that I've already pre-recorded that you can just uh, download and with a small minimal uh, uh, investment fee uh, I think it's only nine dollars and you can just download that and in the comfort of your home listen to it over 33 days and you will be surprised how that can make a big impact and in your subconscious mind so the reason I'm talking about is because consciously we may want to do something we may want to stop something we may want to uh, we talk about okay I'm not gonna do that and then within few hours or few days what's gonna happen that craving starts that initial craving that once it goes away it starts going it's like the mind is saying I want to stop and there is this back and it's as if the other side is saying you know just one one more it's not gonna hurt it's already been there you can control this just one more one more hit just one more cigarette it's you know one cigarette a day is not gonna make a difference one glass of scotch or your glass of wine is not gonna make a difference so you can do that just like weight loss so many lose the weight right and then they stop or they stop going to the gym they stop doing their diets they stop doing this because it becomes the yo-yo why because what has been craving from inside your subconscious mind your core in the back of your head that emotional connection to cigarette um, eating smoking drinking uh, you can sexing cheating all of those and it doesn't matter which one it is the emotional connection is still there so the craving is not so much in the item or in what it is but it is how it makes you feel and that is what we're going to be talking about because even in this book I say there's the benefits benefits of smoking benefits of stopping so which one weighs more is it healthier for you to become a non-smoker or you know you rather deal with the consequences because in life everything is a consequence everything has consequences even when you say I want to be with this person and but I also want to be with that person and then you emotionally connect with this person and yet you don't want to give up the others so what happens is what is the reason 
is that emotional connection. What is it that I benefit from being here, here, here? Each one satisfies something within me. Each one gives me a sense of what I want to feel about myself. Because relationship in a way or even let's talk about sex relationship being with others um it, it's just another tool it's another instrument when this is not satisfying and we need more and more and more it's not about them it's not about the food or the gambling uh, either gambling a card, gambling something else, or even going to the racetrack. Those are all stimulants. So they stimulate your mind. They stimulate the emotional connection to it. And it makes you feel good. But what if it's a hindrance to you? What if... That connection to the gambling, the loss of the money, creates this negativity that the money goes here and where it's not supposed to. It's called the internal dialogue. That is what we work with. Your internal negative dialogue of why I did it and then when the why is not satisfying because after a while the satisfaction goes away guess what happens internal resentment self-hatred self-destructive habits and then the cycle starts again so what do we do we go in depth we talk about everyone comes to this healing in a different way. Some need to be pushed. Some need to be challenged. Some excel when they are rewarded. And there are others who, you know what? They just want a team. They just want a mentor. They just want a guide because they don't know any different. So I wonder which one are you go ahead you can share you can let me know this entire thing is not only for you to come to know yourself and the questions you ask of yourself but to sit back and think how do I get motivated when I'm challenged when I'm doing it with someone or when someone when there is a fear factor or when I am motivated to win punishment is not always the best way to do actually it's not the best way to do anything but if a negative reinforcement has been something that as childhood has been implemented and that is what the child within you knows then the reward is not as gratifying as the challenge or giving you the fear factor that is one of the things that what we do in hypnotherapy is to evoke what was which is understanding your patterns understanding your behavior the cycle of what what fuels you what supports you and for you to get to know yourself because healing the number one thing is to peel away to get to know you and you might turn around and say you know what in the past this is how I got grades, um, the best grades. I wasn't, I excelled because my team was a supporter. I excelled because I was challenged and I rose to the occasion. I excelled because, you know what? 
they put that fear factor if i don't do this i'm not going to receive this so get to know yourself so well that no matter what challenges you have you can conquer it and most people don't really realize it and that's one of the things we do in hypnotherapy is understand how your subconscious and how your patterns were established and can be established so when we talk about why hypnosis and why is it that I utilize hypnosis as a technique is because we delve deep within the subconscious mind where everything about you your patterns behaviors your habits and everything is stored once we go to the cause why you started smoking why overeating why that and if you are ready to become healthier when you are ready to become a non-smoker when you are ready to instead of being on the wagon you know what why be on a wagon when you can just be you and easily and effortlessly say i want to live a healthier life and have a healthier lifestyle so i want to stop binging i want to stop over this and that and find a healthier balance in my life because that's the best way to be better than you are healthier than you are not that the other one is bad but how it's affecting you that put aside is what I work with so they say what are you an expert in I'm an expert in helping you heal within and if it is for you to come to know you to come to know your patterns let's peel away let's get there and hypnosis is the fastest way for you to bypass your critical analyzing criticizing factor that shadow dance and delve deeper within you to the core to the beginning to the causation instead of dealing with the symptoms and putting a patch and patch and patch on it let's go in and once you do that you will feel so much better feel lighter as a matter of fact just last week i had a testimonial which i'm going to also uh post on my website you can go and see my last testimonial she came in here for extreme anger and anxiety extreme anger issues and anxiety now in four sessions not only she feels better she feels lighter her relationship at home with her spouse is better she feels calmer and believe it or not because she feels lighter this emotional dragging weight that heaviness that burden that is no longer as prevalent as before she feels and has dropped over three pounds already in one week not even doing anything about it it shows in her uh, face it shows in her attitude it shows everywhere and she says even my family members have noticed it so isn't that what you want for you isn't it better to be healthier happier lighter calmer because that's healing it's not about cure it's about truly feeling good about you feeling good about you feeling good about your body feeling good about your life your surrounding you know we can be in the office have an incredible team work and have all that and then you sit in the car and you dread going home that is not healthy because that means something is still off 
and that is not a health to you because in order for our life to be in full balance and I'm not saying that life is perfect we all have our challenges I do too I have challenges I have challenges with business with online stuff um, family it's how we cope with it we how we respond to it that matters so that's what I would like to do I am here to be a guide to be a help so if you are ready to make a change by all means contact with me all you have to do is say yes email me at Lisa B at heal within.com you can say uh, smoke and uh, next week you can be a part of online hypnosis that I will do a full guided visualization of hypnosis and if you are online by all means we'll take you into a deep state of hypnosis for you to experience how you can easily and gently and effortlessly become a non-smoker it can happen I've done so many group sessions and believe it or not uh, one time it was in a class years ago I was doing a class and there were about 40 some people in the classroom and this was a two-hour session uh, so first I do all this education about how the mind works and then I say how the habits are formed behaviors so the first hour is all education education and questions and everything uh, how long have you been smoking how long have you been in this pattern everything so it becomes this incredible um, it's like interpersonal Q&A and everything and then I did about 40 minutes of uh, hypnosis session so guiding everyone and believe it or not it's even YouTube one of the testimonials his name is Bob and he came to my to the end of the uh, session of the classroom and uh, he said you know what I closed my eyes and I know if I was I came to this room very curious about what it is that you're going to do because I had no intention of smoke uh, stop smoking okay and he says I was even skeptical about hypnosis but I wanted to see what you are offering so as a smoker I said you know what it's only forty seven dollars I'll give it a try he came in what he said was interesting he said I closed my eyes and the next thing I remember is you counting and saying now on the count of five you will open your eyes and he says and I can't remember anything in between so lo and behold a week later he calls me and says I don't know what you did but I haven't smoked in five days and then with the recording he listened to it for 33 consecutive days as I recommend and within a month I followed up with all my students in that class and believe it or not over 60 percent had stopped smoking and when we followed through six months later out of that 62 percent I think 50 percent we're still a non-smoker and this is in group and I didn't even do one-on-one -on -one session so the ones who were skeptical the ones you know it's not a cure but if you are ready to become a non-smoker you can be it's your choice some say what is the success rate I say 87% of my clients who come in here and do the sessions with me 87 percent success rate for them to become a non-smoker and I've had Bob still a non-smoker 
Yes. The question may be, is it possible that if I stop this, I'm picking up something else and I must uh, replace it with something? You know, I had a client replace smoking with running. He became healthier. He started running and he did, I think, about seven or eight marathons after becoming a non-smoker. So it is your choice what you do with your body, with your heart, with your mind. All I do is help you heal within and help you, guide you, and support you, hold space for you for exactly what you want to achieve. So if you are ready to become a non-smoker, text SMOKE to 818-221-2797 or simply if you want to do the hypnosis sessions, contact me or you can just be here, be present next week. Be part of our Great American Smoke Out. And with that, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. I hope today's session was beneficial to you and you just took one more information. You learned one more thing about yourself or that you can share. So with that, I want to say thank you and I will see you next week. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.